Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will made understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. This must be Adam from Sri Lanka trying to call me. Hello? Hello, hello. I hear you. Are you Adam from Sri Lanka? No, I'm sorry. So do you, do you believe that Adam really landed in Sri Lanka? Yes, of course. What is the proof? Is true. What is the proof of that? I trust I trust what my scholar says. You trust what your scholar says? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What about this foot? Why his foot is so big? But you know the thing is like is it because Allah made him like that. He made him like that. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, did Adam shrink? No. But look. Look. I'm gonna tell you. Like this whole thing is useless. Like the the thing is just that Allah he cannot become a man. Everyone knows this. Ah, Allah cannot be a man. That means Allah cannot be a God. Because if Allah cannot do something, that means He cannot be God. I thought Allah can do anything. You just said He cannot be a man. Yeah, but how how can how you can worship a man? I don't understand. Well, you worship Muhammad too, and you worship Allah, and Allah. Do, do you know even Allah how He look like? Uh, no. Okay, Allah is a foot. So you worship, you don't worship a man, you worship a foot. Isn't it your prophet, he says that Allah is a foot? Oh, where he says that, show me the reference. Okay, here we go. I will, I, will, I, will play, I will play for you a video. You can see my screen in YouTube. Uh, yes, but I right. now have the man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will is, advise you. How much delay is it? How much delay is it? Uh, don't worry about delay, it's going to come to you. I will hang up on you for a second. You know? I will call you back. I want you to watch the video. I will play for you, all right? And uh, uh, the Sheikh, he will explain uh, uh, how Allah looked like. What do you think? Uh, and you okay. said, and you and said, and you said how Allah, you know, you believe what the what the scholars they say, correct? You, I heard you. You said okay. that, right? Uh, of course. Okay. Zakin so, Mikey, it would destroy you. All right. Okay. So, I will. I will now. Now I'm telling you, you are a coward. If you are a real man, you would go to, to Zakir Naik. He will debunk you in one second. I, I will go to Zakir Naik. Do you know that his address? Uh, you know what I mean. I mean, uh, do do you have have you contacted him ever? Because he Zakir Naik. I call him every day. Don't you hear me? Okay, hold on. He's who's who uh, Hello, who? Christian Prince. First of all, I don't want to debate you, and you are a coward. You are running away from me. What are you talking about, man? I want to debate you. Let's debate. First of all, if you debate me, you have to bring two thousand people with you. Two thousand. I have one hundred thousand uh, in my in my chair. In the other uh, the other, I have one hundred ten. What are you talking about? So listen, why you don't give me the Skype of Zachary Naik and I will call him right now, or you can call him. He can join us. What do you think? I don't have Zachary Naik, but so I, if I, if you as a Muslim you don't have Zachary Naik, how in the world I'm going to have Zachary Naik? But you contact him on uh, on YouTube or anything. Yeah, I con audience, I right? contact him once in the uh, sky uh, in, uh, You're in, a liar. in face in face in Facebook. Show me proof. Show uh, me proof. Even I posted a video a long time ago. This is before you were we were born. How old are you? Uh, how old I am? How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Is that before tax or after tax? What do you mean? I don't know. I mean, Aisha, before tax, she is six. After tax, she is one. <laughs> Muslim, they say she is 18. So I don't know. Listen, listen. I'm no, going to play no, for the, you. The, like, uh, with, you, you always say, let's listen, talk about Aisha. But listen, listen, listen. Okay, back hold back on. Days, I will play. Days, it was normal. I will play like for everyone, you. Okay, okay. We will go back. We will go back. Let me let me play the video for you. Go ahead and watch in YouTube. And I will call you back in just a minute, okay? But just watch there. But, but I, have to, I have to ask you, though. How, how no, you no problem. No. To, just wait. Just wait. Not just to see if Allah is a man or not. Listen carefully, here we go. Uh, the second question of Rami. Let us go to the, the, the answer. Okay. How Allah? Is Allah is a man or what he is? You know? Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this 
is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Stop here. I have weakness to legs. Allah is going to show us his leg. Let us call this Muhammad back. How are you, Muhammad? Did you hear the shake? One second. I'm, I'm watching the video right now. It's delay. Oh, okay. There's a delay. Okay. I will give you some time. Okay. Do you want me to play it again for you so you can hear it again? No, wait. Hold on. So I, Allah, I Allah, he have a hand. Himself. He, he, Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on him? the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Sorry, I was so distracted between the talk. I okay, go, so I Allah, he have a hand, Allah have a shin, Allah have a leg, Allah have a foot, Allah have a face, Allah have two hands. So if Allah is not a man, what he is? But he's God, but like he's not so the same who is, hand who is God? God? Not the same hand so his, his, his shin is God? Oh no, it's not the same, it's not the same hand. And, and I, I know, I know, I mean the shin of the dog is not the same as my shin too. But this is another question. I'm saying, your God is a shin. If this is what Allah says, then, uh, then you know. Then, but a second uh, ago, you said to me, God cannot be a human. So God can be a shin, but He cannot be a human. Look, I like I am not so educated about Islam. I just no, no. You are educated about shin. Let's focus in shin. I'm sure, like all men, they like women legs. Let us be honest, right? So here, Allah is a female, and He have a nice shin, and He is going to do shin for us. Like He will lift His skirt. He like look at my shin, and all Muslims like wow, which what the heck is that? It's so beautiful. So, Mr. Tamir, do you think the shin of Allah is so sexy? But why do you do you do blasphemy? What a blessing. I mean, I like the shin of Allah. What's your problem? But like the thing is like, okay, he has all this thing, but it does, it does. What the things did you, human. did you just say Allah have all things? What things Allah have shin? This is a thing. Yes. He says the, the sheikh, he says, do you know, you know, Joe Biden, he says that, that we are created by, 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 the, by the thing. So now you are saying to me that Allah have the thing, the, the, the thing, and that the, the thing of Allah is the shin. So Allah, at the end of the day, it turned to be His nobody. He's just a shin, and you Muslim worshiping shin, and you know you shin worshippers. But, but what is the problem? Like at, me, at least we're not worshiping a man. What's wrong with the man? This man, his Jesus, is perfect. He never commits sin. He controlled nature. He made the blind see. He forgive. He forgives. Okay. And he controlled. Uh, 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 he, he, you know, he, he is he, all the but kingdom. Muhammad. What Muhammad? But, Muhammad, he was busy but, masturbating. No, but Muhammad was the was the best uh, leader for for all mankind. Okay, before like, just, just look, just before look how gentle he. he okay, he he was oh, very gentle. Okay. Yeah. No, but can you just listen? Just one second, please. Okay. Like, I, I know. Sorry, Tamir. I, I apologize. I want to listen to you, but you know I am so impressed with the shin of Allah. So can you describe for me the shin of Allah? Because I feel like I want to convert. Um, I have a weakness. I have to admit in front of everybody here that I cannot resist shin. So why Allah he have a shin? But what, but what is the problem with that? Even if I'm has... not saying that I say any problem. I say why he have a shin. I did not mention the problem. You are coming with the problem, brother. Come on, take it easy on me. I want to convert. So why Allah he has a shin? But okay, but that is not the question. Uh, this the is question my question. Is, this is this is my question. Okay. Why I'm, Allah I'm he saying, has a shin? I, I, listen, I, I, listen, I, I, listen. My car. It's an old car. You know. I have an antenna. The antenna is to do what? To do the radio reception. Okay, so now we know what antenna is called for. Uh, the reason called is antenna because it antenna. So, you know, did Allah, he have a shin to receive something? To read to reception something? Or to walk or what? Why he called it foot? Why call it shin? Did he walk with it? But look, this is not the question. Can, can I? Okay. This is my question. Like no, but this is my, like this. This is my, no. this is my question. But please, you know, I, you know, please, you are like, my you brother, know, I'm trying to brother, learn from you. Brother, you are the Muslim. You are the Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not smart like the Muslims. So why Allah have a shin if he is the almighty yes, and you Muslim yes, don't believe in a look, human to be yes. God? Look, Jesus have a foot. Okay. But Jesus have a foot because he come to us in a form of a man. So that understood Allah, he have a foot. He have a shin. He have two hands, and by the way, do you have you ever heard of somebody is have a birth defect? Uh, what is that? Like you know, it, what, it is a, when, a, I, when I was when I was when, when I'm born, you know, uh, my mom she told me that the doctor he said your son have a problem. She he said she said what? He said uh, he's not. The problem is you're not Muslim. No, he said he is the only Arab who have a big brain. 
and that is really weird. So anyway, your God, stuff for Allah, yeah, stuff for Allah. So your God, when he was born, is it true that he is born with two hands and both of them in the right side? No, Allah is outside of the times, time and space continuum. He he made the time and so space. So is, is Allah is out of His hands or is inside His hands? Outside. Allah is outside His hands. Yes, the, he he is the one that make the the time and space continuum. Okay, listen, listen. So Allah is a shin, but He is out of His shin. Look, I can say like this, like, um, honestly, I'm not so educated in this topic. My friend, you keep I saying to me, Quran you keep saying to me, I'm not educated, I'm not educated. You are educated, you are a Muslim. Allah will educate you, my friend. What are you talking about? Allah will support but, but you. I just want to, if we would just go to the Bible, I promise listen, you. Listen, 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 Muslim, listen. You will take Shahada in 20 minutes. Okay, uh, I, I, I'm almost there, just wait. You know, I'm just trying to help you too. So, you just said to me, I asked you, is Allah is inside his shin? You said no. Why you say such a thing? So, this is the shin of Allah. This is the foot of Allah, okay? And this is Allah foot. I will make it look nice so you don't get upset because Muslim, you get offended from anything, especially when no, I no, say. I, no, I am not like the the ISIS. Like ISIS. Oh, you are not like not ISIS. Oh, that was my favorite no, cartoon. No, they, ISIS is my favorite cartoon. I joined the USA no, army to go and fight them. When I went there, I could not find anybody. Anyway, listen. No, so, look, they, so listen, they, listen, they, listen, no. listen. So Allah it have a shin, but according to you. Allah is not inside his shin. So where is Allah? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, by my internet without you, ag you agreed with me that Allah is a shin. And you said to me that Allah is not inside his shin. How that is possible? So we have the shin is empty. But look, Allah, He can do whatever is impossible, He can do possible. Okay, but you said to me, Allah cannot be a man. Yes, yeah, so if He wants to be a man, but like the, the thing is, like I, I said it like that, but what, what I meant is, He's not a man right now. But if uh, he right now. Be, he so is He a shin right now or He is not a shin right now? Right now, He is. He's what? Shin. He's a shin. And you worship a shin. But this is Allah. It says in the Quran. So you you Muslim worship a shin and you are proud of that. What is the problem with that? Like so you reject is, is you reject it, is, you, is, is, you, is you reject the Messiah because he's a man. You accept Allah because he's a shin. What? Look, the thing is, it doesn't matter how Allah. How looks, come it like does? How come it does matter when we say Jesus is God? You say it matter how God can be a man. No. And now, but, and no, now, it doesn't matter Allah, if Allah is a shin or not. No, okay, Allah, hold on, hold on. Allah, he can become. Allah can become a man. Can but the thing is, he 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 never die on the cross. Oh, he, he never die on the cross. Allah never die on the cross. How he die? He is, if if this Allah is not exist and he is dead. Oh, I mean, there's nothing. Uh, Allah don't have a spirit, correct? The Muslim believe Allah is not a spirit and he does not have a spirit, so he's dead. Yeah, the, the, is a, my, he's a rogue. No, I, so this I, I is the I, shin. I asked my mom this, but he okay, said, uh, uh, okay, where's your mom? Let me talk to her. Sleeping right now, Habibi. You spoke to your mom and she's sleeping. No, she, imam, imam. Imam. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought I thought you were saying your mom. Okay. Why well, you don't call him now? He's sleeping, Habibi. Wake him up, my friend. Wake him up. Habibi, Tell him I, I just called the guy and Habibi. he is giving me. Don't call Habibi. me Habibi. I'm not your boyfriend. Come on. Listen. Uh, I'm asking you why you don't call the Imam so he can join us and you just uh, watch him. He is a smarter, he's educator, you know, educated. Do you, live in the, do you live in the United States? I live in, uh, you know, the thing in USA, yeah. You know, uh, you know, you know, I, I you live know, in Europe. The, the, ah, you the, live in the Shin in Italy, uh, in the Italy Shin. Uh, you live in the I'm house of Allah, Allah live in Italy. Allah, Allah Himself is Italy because Italy is a Shin. Allah is a shin, so you worship Italy. So you said to me now that Allah is a shin, but he is not inside his shin. Why Allah is not inside his shin? But look, this is not the question. The question this is, is my question. Is if, okay, okay, you but, know what? I will make it simple for you. According to your prophet, Allah have two hands, and both of them, they are in the right side of his shin. Is that a birth defect? Where, where he says that in the Quran? In the Hadith. You're lying. In the Hadith. You're lying. In the Hadith. You're lying. Okay, what if, I, what if I show it to you what you would do? Let me take a screenshot because I want to sell this in the museum, in the Islamic Museum of uh, Technology. Here we go. 
but but why you're mocking Allah all the time? I'm not right? mocking Allah, my friend. I'm just showing you. He cannot hurt me. You know, have you ever heard of a shin can hurt? <laughs> That's funny. You know, I mean, like imagine you call the police. You say, "Help, help! The shin hurt me." <laughs> they will say, "Go and see a doctor." <laughs> Unbelievable! You're funny, man. You're funny. I like you. I like you. Listen. So we go to the hadith. And here we go. Your prophet, he says, Kilta uh, So Allah, both his hands, both his hands are right hands. And you say to me, I'm lying. Why you say that? You hurt my feet now. Is that uh, how you speak to people in your age? Because, oh, no, like, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I just have to, to say it how it is. If I see a... Okay, but you're saying example, I'm lying. A, for example, you're saying, I'm, a you're horse, saying I am if lying. If I see a horse, for example, okay, listen. I say it's horse. No problem. I say, okay, read, read, liar, read. I say liar. Read, read. It says here that your God, Allah, both his hands are right hands. Do you see it? This Abdul, start to deny, what CP argument, let's continue what his answer. All those hadith saying, Allah, both hands, both hands of Allah are right hands. I only see a delay. Okay, I will zoom for you. You see it? Both of his hands are right hands. So all this drama and Allah is God and then Allah cannot enter his body and then Lili Dawa she said that he can enter his body and he enter his creation and now we find that Allah have a birth defect he have two hands in the right side he's a shin he have five fingers he never cut his nails which means they are very dirty and he don't wash his hands so now this is your God look the why you said to me? Why you said to me? I'm lying. I apologize, please, because you said I'm lying, and this is your prophet okay, saying I, that. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You are, you are sorry. What I would do with your sorry now? Let me get some tissue. I'm crying. I mean, you do things to me. You Muslims, you hurt my feeling. You call me a liar. Want PayPal, so he, what? Want PayPal to make it better. What? PayPal to, to make it better. What? What? PayPal. PayPal. And yani twenty bucks something. I say sorry. Yeah, but you, you said sorry after what? After you call me liar and I have a thousand, I have I, one thousand, one hundred thousand subscribers listen to me. And now you call me, they will think now I'm a liar and they will disrespect the shin of Allah. I told them to worship Allah. His shin is so beautiful. You said to me, uh, you're a liar. I said, Allah have two hands in the right side. You said to me, you're a liar. And now you apologize. And But what about the one who was here? He heard you saying to me, I'm a liar. And he left before you apologize. He will believe now I did lie. And he will not, not accept no more that Allah, through description, he have two hands in the right hand, in the right side. You see yeah, what you did to Allah? Because 99% of, of the viewers are, are Christian, right? They're pagans. Pagans? What pagans mean? And they, they, they don't worship Allah. Oh, pagans is the one who don't worship Allah? Yes. Okay, I want to ask you, you know, once I went to a Muslim website, it's called Convert to Islam. I asked him why? The prophet he kissed the black stone. I will ask you the same question. Why the prophet kissed the black stone? To to, for, to get your sins forgiven. This is how Allah made it. <sighs> That's deep. So you call us pagan, but you Muslim you cause the black stone. And the prophet he kissed the black stone to to but, his sin to be forgiven. But this is one of the miracles of Islam. That That's like deep. The stone is still there. Oh, the stone is there. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. Last time I looked, it wasn't there. Do you want to bet? What do you mean? The stone has always been there. There's like, no black it, stone. No. Like the, the stone, the, the stone, it, it became so black because, uh, like, it, it forgives so many sin. Uh, no, because it, it, it sucks. It, it sucks sin. It my, sucks my sin. Yes. She told me, my mother. She told me before when I was a little kid. Yeah. She told me the the stone was pure white before, but right. Uh, so according to Islam, if you commit sin, you will become darker and black. It's what you are, your mom. She told you. And she did that yes. from your prophet. Yes, huh? So, so you are saying to me, if a person is black, is black because he committed sin? No, but like, uh, look, I, I know it may seem like that, but the thing ah. is, you know, uh, white is like representing the light. You know? ah. and, and, and the, the, the dark, the dark okay. is rep it okay, rep represented. Uh, uh, like even, Jesus, even Jesus, he said, you know, I am the light of the world. Oh, okay. What is the opposite to, to what is the, what yeah. is the opposite to, to dark? Yeah, but light, uh, light, light. light of the world doesn't mean he is a flashlight. Or a physical light that's mean he is the one who bring people to salvation however my friend you said to me and I'm not going to hurt your feelings says you are lying I will say you're ignorant this is the black stone I put it in the screen there's no black stone left there's a small tiny 
tiny, tiny, they are not even rocks, I don't know what they call them, you know, uh, what they call them in English, guys, small, tiny uh, stones, so look at them. Is you right? Do you mean? No, no, the black stone, the black stone, there's no black stone, this is wax, all the brown is wax, all the brown. Yes, because it, this is the sense. What sin? What sin? There's no, like my friend, this is, do, do, do you know what wax me? Sin. Do you know what wax me? My mother, she even told me. You my know, friend, don't tell me my you... mother, my friend. Listen, I don't want to, don't bring your mother here. Listen, I'm asking you, do you know what wax mean? Wax. Wax is not a stone. Wax is a stone, not stone, right? Wax, yani it wax the hair. Oh, yeah, like wax, like, you know, like, uh, when you, uh, or, uh, uh, you, made, you made a statue from wax, right? I don't know what you mean. The, the, the can, like, like when you like light, you make, yeah, it, no, it works like, you know, the candle, the candle, you know, you make candles for lighting at night. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, when, so this is, this is wax. This when is, when this, it become the wet, right? When, when, be, when we live, there is electricity, you light a candle. Ah, okay, okay. The candle is made from wax. So your stone, you said to me that the stone is exist and the stone forgive your sin. But as you see, your God could not even, you know, preserve the stone. There's nothing left. There's little tiny, 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 little, you know, no. let me show it. Let me even highlight them for you. I don't know if you have a good vision like me, you know, because... What do you mean? I was, I was in Mecca, like I saw with my own eyes. Yeah, this is what you see. Your own eyes. Did you, did you, have, did you have a picture with it? No. Why did not take a picture, man? You should send me a picture. I will put it on my channel. That would be wonderful. My brother, I'm, I'm unlucky. I had my, my shit iPhone and then it broke. Yeah. Then, uh, Alhamdulillah, I got a new phone last week. Allah, he, he you was have, really blessed me. You have your shit phone in the Kaaba? No, uh, yeah, it was it was not very good. Like, it, it oh, broke, man. Broken, uh, you so you made me worry. Buy. You take your shit phone to the Kaaba. That's not nice. Anyway, so look with me. Here, here you see those are the rocks. There's no little tiny pulpit, you know, where, where is the black stone? So you must tell you lie to yourself. Uh, Muhammad, he says that this stone will witness for you until the judgment day. And as you see, nothing left. Look, where is the stone? Little tiny pulpit. But you know, but you know, but you know uh, Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he was uh, actually mentioned in the, in the Old Testament. I know. S Songs of Solomon. In the Song of Solomon, is that the legs of the one? He's talking about the legs or the boobs? <laughs> Yeah, this was the song of song. You know, about? you see, Muslims, you are funny. Ahmad that was making fun of the song of Solomon for uh, for like uh, ten years, and then one day somebody told him that Muhammadim is in the song of Solomon. Suddenly, song of Solomon is not about porn. All you Muslim, you keep saying that song of Solomon is about porn. Then suddenly, Muhammad in the song of Solomon, and suddenly the song of Solomon become holy. So listen, listen. Your prophet is in the song of Solomon while Solomon was singing for Muhammad. No, but like he, he, like he was just mentioning him like the prophecy. Why he did not sing for the black stone? No, but like, when are you going to realize that, that Jesus he was uh, actually a Muslim? Like, he was a Muslim? When, when okay, if Jesus was a Muslim, how come he don't have a wife? She is at the age of Muhammad's wife, Aisha. <laughs> I don't know, babe, because Jesus, maybe he didn't not want a wife. Like, you okay. don't have to marry someone. All right, so Jesus don't want to have a wife. That's mean he is not like the rest of a human. Okay, this is a good point. Thank you for saying that. And then Jesus, he never commits sin. Muhammad is a sinner. So how show you can where, be... Uh, show me where Muhammad uh, commits sin. It says, like he says, uh, I think it's Quran. I don't remember, but like, I, I heard when I was in the mosque this Friday, uh, he told me... Um, Who told uh, you on the, Friday? The, the, Who told imam. The imam. imam. That, that, what uh, what his name your imam? That, what his name? Huh? What his name the imam? Say what is the name of the imam? Maybe I will remember him because I have many students. They graduated by me. Do you remember? Do you know his name? Yeah, it's Abdul. His name what? Abdul. His name is Up. Abdul. What up mean? Abdul. Abd. 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 What? Bro, you hear me? Well, what are you saying? Uh, the ayah, we were saying up. Okay, listen. No, up. So what your imam said to you about Muhammad? That he was the, the best uh, prophet, um, like best example for all humans. Yeah, exactly. This is why the Muslim, they accuse him of staying underwear. No, but maybe they were like, you know, it's easy to lose some things, you know? Like, you know, for example... The, when, last when, week, the, I, I when the last time you... When the last, last time you last lost your... When the last time you lost your underwear? No, but look, like mistakes can happen, you know? Like, what you mean? Uh, we're talking like, about underwear. Know, what do you mean those things can happen? Maybe, what, maybe, maybe. What, what, what do you mean that those things can happen? I mean, the prophet was accused of stealing underwear, and then he said you might, he might, he lost it. What lost it? 
I mean, uh, uh, and you, and then you say to me those things happen. The Muslim they accuse him that the Prophet he did yaghul, which means he stole. Wow. He is a thief. Who is accusing him? Not the enemy. Those are the companion of the Prophet, and in the Quran. Yes, but, uh, but those people that accuse him, they were like uh, Judah. Yani, ah, like, uh, but all of them, all of them, they accuse him. Not even one. Look like your Prophet. He have twelve Judas. Yes. Ah, what the about what about your prophet? What what, what, the, what about your prophet? He was a Judah too. No, he's the be he's the best leader. Okay, okay. If if a man he come but, to your house, listen, listen. Uh, you know, like I I respect your mother, so I'm going to talk to you, but I, I'm not trying to offend you. Let us say you are married. No, 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 my brother. Like, I, listen, listen, <laughs> just listen to me. Listen to me. I have a nice story to tell you. Uh, I'm if if uh, if a person come to your house and you are married, are you married? Huh? Allah, years. Okay. May Allah give you four wives temporarily. So listen, so let us say you are married and then your father, he come to your house and he started flirting with your wife. Do you think your father will do that? It's different. It's the Prophet Muhammad. No, no, I'm talking about your father. No, but like any, you, you're taking like uh, example as like normal human and Muhammad, like it's different. It's a prophet of, of Allah. So, Prophet of Allah, he will flirt with the wife of the son, or he will not. No, but for example, David, like he had uh, other wives, but like, uh, you know, and, like it was. And uh, David was a sinner. Even the Bible confirmed he was a sinner. Even God, he punished him. God, he punished David. David was a crying. He's asking God for forgiveness all over the Bible. Even he, you know, when he offered to build a temple, he said, "No, I don't want, uh, you know, the, uh, your hand in blood." So David was condemned in the Bible. He is not. He was not doing good. But I'm asking you now: Did your prophet he go to his own son' house and he flirt with the wife when the husband was not there, and later he had sex with her? You don't get it. It was different times. One thousand four hundred years. Oh, ago. so at that time, the ethical prophet, after long after Jesus, after six hundred years after Jesus, at that time. People they can go to their son house and they can have sex with the son wife. Oh, but look, it was different times. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. So like, your prophet example, was a very good example, man. He went to his own son. He found the wife alone, and obviously the son he is not doing good in bed. So he decided to help his son in boom boom. So he said to her, "Is my son doing good job?" She said, "I swear by Allah, he did not do boom boom for two nights." I said, "Okay, let's do it." By the time he come back, I would do five boom boom. So the prophet of Allah, because at that time, as you said, it was different. Yeah. Yes. But you know, no, at that time, you know, the Bible, we have tons of verses and the Bible forbid us from fornication and to wish a woman. She is not our woman. So your the prophet Bible has been corrupted. He was corrupted. That is a shocking news. So why your prophet is lying in the Quran, saying that he believe in what we have? No, but the, it was corrupted after he died. That's why, like you know, ah, Quran, corrupted it, like, after he no, died. Ah, yes. what a horrible because, thing! Because you know, in the Quran it says, you know, all you people of the book. Yes, then it was not corrupted, but you know, after uh, all you pagan and uh, a human worship. Okay, hold yeah, on, like hold on. The, so the people of the book at that time. Do they worship that Jesus as God at that time? You said the Bible corrupted after Muhammad died. But the Quran says that the Christian believe in Jesus as God before Muhammad died. But like in the original Bible, they never said it. But you say that the Bible was not corrupt at that time after yes, he died. So how? Not, it was okay, not, it thank was you. Not, so so no, now, so that means that the true Bible teach that we believe in the Trinity and the Trinity is true. It's not a corruption. And, and, and tell me, how can uh, three person not be three God? There's no three God. We believe in one God. Even your Quran saying that we Who believe. Three God? No, the Quran. Like the, no, no, my friend. No, my friend. Listen, even your Quran says, uh, it's, so even those who say that uh, 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 Allah is one of three, so and then the, the Quran in different verse confirm that they are one God. The Christian believe in that, but the Christian don't believe in Allah. Number one. Secondly, if Allah is number three, who is the second in Christianity and who is the third? Do you know? The, you guys say it's the Holy Spirit and the the Son, right? Okay. Thank you very much. That means the Quran is a stupid book. Because the Quran say that the Christian believe the Messiah is Allah, 
and the Christian believe that Mary is the wife of Allah. But we don't believe in that. So if the Messiah is Allah, but look, who is the I'm second? Just, no, no, listen, ask. listen, listen. Who is the second one? Now we because we because now we eliminated two names. The Messiah, he is Allah according to the Quran. The Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah. So if the Christian they believe that the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? I don't know. What do you mean? I mean just use mathematics. Are you too good in mathematics? Actually, I had F minus in that, but that's not the point. You like, have you know, F Allah minus. Your teacher, he gave you F minus. But that's not the point. Allah, he gave no, me the point wisdom. is this teacher is dirty. Shame on him. If my teacher gave me F minus, I would do something to him. Anyway, listen. If the Messiah is Allah, that means now Allah and the Messiah is one God. So why you Muslim lie? You say the Christian believe in three gods. But this is what my mom told me. Hey, your mom, she does. She have F minus two. Here we go. The Quran, chapter 5, verse 17 says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. So how you Muslim lie says we have believe in three gods. All of you Muslim, you have F minus, you have F minus 99, 100, 200, the band, you know. But I never saw a Muslim, he go even, you don't even get D. You know, you get a, what, what the, a, a, B, C, F, D, D, D is after F. I, I thought F uh, before D. Which one is before me? Before one, you know, do you know? So you get F minus, and the Quran say the Christian belief is the Messiah is Allah. So now the Christian believe in one God, and the Muslim they lie all over, and the Quran is full of contradiction. So how we believe in three gods, but, but, and but then okay. we have that the but Messiah the is Allah, and they are one. Can you just tell me, like, how, like, how are you saying we Muslim lie when the Quran says that Muhammad was the best man ever lived? He's, he's saying he is the one who made the Quran. I will make a book about myself and I will no, say no, no, I am no, the no, best. No, no, it came from heaven. It came from heaven. I, it came to me Quran. from heaven too. You know, I was sitting in the other day in the bathroom and I received Quran. And obviously it's coming from the heaven of Allah because it smells so bad. So I said to him to myself, you know, uh, uh, Alif Lam Mim. This is Do Jamim. Nobody understand what I'm saying. Do Deem and Muhammad, who is Mim, and uh, what Mim mean? It's a miracle. What uh, what what the like? You know, when a Muslim we say something to them, anything we say to them, it's a miracle. But the second we ask them what it's mean, they don't know. So when you Muslim you say something and you say Muhammad is the best man, we ask you who said that. You say Muhammad. Muhammad said he is the best man. But look, this is the words of Allah. Okay, the word of Allah. Let me ask you. As long as this is the word of Allah, uh, do you know? Did you study some little bit of about science? Uh, what, like in general, something specific. What do you mean in general? Like science in general, like you know, like general subject in school. You know, when like I was when I, when I was in your age, I graduated from a university. It's called NASA, and NASA NASA University. I got a NASA, degree when you were 19 years old. Marshall. No, I was nine years old actually because I was like a very smart at a very uh, like uh, at the age of six. I was mature, you know. Me and Aisha, we used to go to the same university. She no, got her master. You cannot, you cannot go to Aisha. It was different and we times. cannot, we cannot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ask times. you. How, where, how is this hard for you? To okay, 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 okay. For example, where, 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 where? Look, look in, the, in the Old Testament, uh -huh. you guys, you guys think that that you get forgiveness of God by by slaughtering. And by what? By what? And then now by slaughtering animal. Oh, okay. And then, now, and then now you think it's forgiven by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, different do, do times. You, do you different must, times, do, different times. No, that's not true. Nothing changed. The the slaughtering of the animal is preparing and waiting for the coming of the Messiah. This is symbolic for what Jesus would do to us. Even your Quran says that when Allah He gave order and command to Abraham to slaughter his son, Allah Himself He gave a slaughter. Is that correct? What do you mean? I don't know. You are the one who opened the topic. Look, like, did uh, did, did, did Allah Jesus. did Allah slaughter animal to forgive his sin? No, he just forgave. Like, why Allah? Why, uh, no, why Allah. You, why like you see, God, you, why, you why said, you, you said, God, why your God cannot just just forgive? Listen, why, listen. Why, my God, why, he forgive. So my he God, my God, Jesus, he says, go and sin no more. Your sin is forgiven. We can show you tons of verses in the Bible. Jesus, Jesus yes, forgiving yes. sin. That, but your God, listen, listen, your God cannot forgive sin. Okay, listen, listen. Can Allah forgive sin? Yes. Okay, so why Allah said to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin? 
Yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, it's only Allah who decides who's in but, this. But the one is talking is Allah. Huh? Uh -huh. If Allah is the one is talking, how Allah He say, "May Allah forgive your sin." He was like talking it like Yani as a father to like he do to his son. What do you mean, father? Like, he is Allah. Like, like, now, like, now, like, now like, Allah you know, became a father like, of Muhammad. I will, I will explain. I will explain. Explain. You know, explain. Okay. Explain. You know, you know when you were a little kid and you say, "Oh, daddy, can I can I go buy the candy?" Yeah. And you say, "Inshallah." Like is is the same. So you are like fooling your son. You don't want to buy him a candy. No, no, no. There I can. Maybe if like it depends. My friend Muhammad, he committed a lot of sin, and now Allah saying to Muhammad, "May Allah forgive your sin." So how many Allah you Muslims have? But like it is maybe was because Allah did had did not make his decision. Oh, he he's like, not the one who make decisions. It's other Allah, he make decision. Is that correct? No, but like he has to think through. Like, do I need to forgive or do I? Need I to thought forgive? Allah, he can make decision. He's fast in thinking. Look like he's so slow. So he said to Muhammad, "Hey, give me time to think. May Allah forgive." But look, he's saying, "May Allah forgive your sin." He is not saying, "May I forgive your sin?" And don't Allah knew the future? I thought he knew the future. Look, he do not know. So he's making a wish. He's making a prayer. This is a prayer, supplication. Allah making yeah, supplication. Yeah, we will know in the in the judgment day. Yeah, but he's saying me Allah, and he is the one who's yes. talking. You Muslim, are you? Yes, it's because, it's because when that was written, it was not judgment day yet. But it will be no, you forgive your sin. Now. You forgive your sin him now. You know, not later. I mean, why you want to forgive him later? He is your prophet you Muhammad. Know, you know why? You know why? Why? Because my mom he told me that you know for for the non-Muslim, if they never believe in Allah, Allah will give them one last chance. Mm -hmm. Like like when they stand before him. Yeah. Be believe in me right now, or you're going to hellfire. You know what? Like this is why I, I want to say thank you for saying that. I'm going to have fun laughing at Muhammad all my life. And then in the day of judgment, Allah will give me a second chance. I say, hey, Allah, thank I was joking. You know? <laughs> I screwed, no, but, but I screwed Muhammad this, all my but, life. But, and now you decide to give me a chance. Listen, listen to me. I want to tell you a story, which is a really sad story. Uh, I, I want to share this only with you. Don't please don't tell anyone. Uh, my grandfather, he passed away. And I was a kid. I didn't know what's going on. So I go to his room and I find him standing. First day. Can you say again, please. I, I had the. He died. My grandfather, he died. This is a long time ago. You know, long, long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he died. Poor guy. I mean, he's old, you know. And uh, he used to eat a lot of rice and stuff like this. So he died. So anyway, uh, you know, when he died, he died and he was holding a stick in his hand. So I go to his room. First day, he's standing, not moving. And my mom, the family, everybody go to talk to him. He don't answer. Second day, third day, one month. Nobody noticed that he is dead for a year. Why do you think we did not notice that he is dead? He is holding a stick standing and he was dead. What do you think about my true story? Like, you know, it's only Allah knows if it's true or not. What do you mean? Are you hurting your feet? My feet now you're saying I'm lying? Because you know, like uh, the people, they can be deceived. Deceived, you know. For example, before, like uh, people, when they when they been in coma for three days, they think they are dead. But then, oh no! No, no but he is standing. You know, he's holding a stake, standing up. You know, it's a miracle by Allah for a year. That can can be explained. It's a miracle by Allah. Yes. Uh, and then the termite they ate his stake and he fell down. So do you think the termite they destroyed this miracle of Allah? But look, like. Well, can I just ask you, like, do you not want to become a Muslim because you, uh, like were abused by a Muslim family or something? Nobody, because, no. Like, my, if, if you if you get to know the, if you know no, the, no. the true Allah and the true okay, Prophet, okay, listen, listen, listen. Uh, then, then first you of will, all, you will see it so beautiful. First, first of all, nobody ever will dare to abuse me. This is number one. That will be very, <laughs> yeah, that will be a very, very bad mistake. Suddenly, I I don't believe in Allah because he's stupid. Don't you see? Your God, Allah, He claimed that Solomon he died. And nobody noticed that he is dead because he was standing for a year holding a stick. Who in the world will believe in such a stupid story? Do you believe in it? You say? Do you believe in it? Can you say again, please? Uh, uh, so I told I, you the story I, about my grandfather. He died standing oh, for yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. do you believe in this story or not? I have to be there to see with my own eyes. With what? I have to be there to see with my own eyes. I don't know. I don't understand. What? What? Again? I can he do, like are the eyewitnesses uh, trustworthy or they they have financial gain for telling the story? Is it 
like when you study in school, a person when he died, don't he, his body start decay right away? No, it takes uh, seven hours first. I mean, seven hours. We're talking about one year, man. Yes, but you know, like if there, if there, if it's in like cold environment or something like this, then it like it can be. Well, we are years. in the Middle East. It's very hot there. It's a desert. It's not cold environment. So, what do you think the reason that he died standing and he did not even decay? What do you think? My grandma, she said, because he eat hummus. Hummus preserve his body. But maybe, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe he just took a nap. He took a nap for a year, standing. Look, like in heaven, like all of these things will be... I'm not talking about yeah. heaven. I'm talking about what happened in my grandfather's bedroom, man. I'm not talking... Did I talk about heaven? I'm saying in my but, grandfather's bedroom, even my grandmother, she did not know that she came to him. She said, you know, yes, she, she's funny, yes, you know. But, she said, to him, yes, but, honey, listen, the, do you the, like the to eat? You know, you like to eat? And he said, don't answer. She comes second day, third look, day. Nobody noticed. Look, you, you, you have to understand. Like yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh -huh. like he, like he, he can do miracles that no one can understand. Like okay. the, the Quran is full of uh, so, scientific so this, miracles. So this is a mir the, the Quran is full of scientific miracles. Yes. So why Lili Da was saying that all the miracle of the Quran is debunked? But but he doesn't know what he's talking about. The shaitan got to him. You, are like, you saying uh, that Ali Dawa is a stupid? Yes. I'll, uh, Why? Like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shaitan got to him. Like, Shaitan yeah. got Ali Dawa. Explain that to me. What do you mean? <laughs> because he says the Quran is not true. He is like you. So now you must have saying that Ali Dawa is a shait satanic person and he is uh, deceiving Muslims and he's trying to make people leave Islam, correct? It's not, it's not the real, it's like the ISIS. The ISIS is not real Islam, but they think they are. Yeah, but focus with me. When he said that the Quran is debunked, but he himself, he said that he believed in Islam because there is a scientific miracle in the beginning. But then he noticed that the Quran is full of nonsense. That's what he said in his video. No, but look, like, he, he just, he, like, he just don't understand the Quran. Like, he, there's a difference between just reading the, the words and understanding what is, what is inside. This is why we have the hadith. So this is, like, why you have such an opinion about such a great scholar like Ali Dawa. No, but he's not good. Like my, best, my the, the best scholar in the world right now, yeah. Zakir Naik. He, Zakir Naik? He hey, Zakir Naik, come here. Come here, is he playing with the football? Zakir, yeah, yeah, talk to him. Listen, Brent, I told you I'm with you, and I'm going to talk to you. So Zakir Naik is the best <laughs> scholar in the world. In the world. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, can you tell me something? Like, as long as Ali, Ali according to you, is an idiot, and he is deceiving the Muslim, and he's a liar, his eyes tell tells everything. Like his, he, his what? Maybe 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 his his mother drank something when he was when he was in the belly. Ah, uh, you think he, he's he, born he, of a? He says stupid things, so he's like he have a, a birth defect. You think? Just look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. What's wrong with his eyes? And he he looks like he's not well. You know what? But look, I'm telling I, you. I, I, I never you. thought about that. Hold on. You you what what is you, you you man? You are so smart, guys. Look at his eyes. Yeah, yeah, you are right. I mean, something wrong there. So, what do you think it's about like his eyes? Tilted, it's like tilted downwards, like you know, maybe his, his what? His eyes are tilted downwards. Downwards, so, downwards. Okay. Like diagonal downwards. So, do you do you think this is like from Allah or this is from Shaitan? It's because it's because um, like he, his mother probably drank alcohol or something. She drank alcohol. She used to be drunk. You're saying, okay. I see. You got the but point look, there. But but I'm telling you, like if yeah, but look. Look, yeah. Like, if you if you had real debate with Zakir Naik, yeah, he would send you back to your mom. Okay, listen. Can you do me a favor? I want you to say now, and we will make the Christian uh, like uh, make a short video of you inviting Zakir Naik, challenging him to I debate me. You, you, will do, you will do excuse. Oh, today I have to. I have to read the Bible. Oh, today I have to. No, I am here. I stay here for many hours, almost every day. What are you yeah. talking about? Are I I never said I have, you know. Are you, are you retired or can you No, no, it? don't trust me. Trust me. You know, like I will, even my grandfather who will die on the stick, he will come to watch the debate. Are you kidding me? So, listen, what about you make now a challenge to Zakir Naik by your voice, or you promise me that you will email Zakir Naik, tell him that I asked this guy, do you dare to debate him? He said, yes. Can you please, a brother, Telling, like, accept uh, to debate like him? I've seen, you know what Reddit is? What, what? Reddit. What? 
I don't know if I have a problem with hearing like, you. Uh, Reddit, it's like uh, social media. Social media, yeah, I know social, but I don't know media. Media is, I don't talk to women, sorry. Women, media, you know. Okay, That's so like, you know, they're scary. Look, I'm telling you, yeah. like, the, the real reason, like, look, why why uh, you think you have never been the Phillies because you have never debated with Zachary Nike. Like he, oh, so like you are saying man, to me, man, I've never been so defeated. Okay, why then? Maybe this is the same reason, if you are saying so. The Zagar Naik, according to Muslim, never been defeated because he did not debate me yet. <laughs> yes, because as long as I agree, I agree, I never been defeated. You agreed, I never been defeated. So what about you make an email and let Zagar Naik respond to you by a video. It says, brother... This is the video conversation between me and this person who made thousands of Muslims leave Islam. Do you please, and, can and you if please? He you, if he defeats you, you take Shahada. My friend, oh, not only I will take Shahada, I will take uh, Zakir Naik's wife. <laughs> okay. Alhamdulillah, welcome to Muslim family already. <laughs> I will have only one? Huh? Only women? One woman? I said Alhamdulillah, welcome to Muslim family. What family? I will have four family as a start. I mean, don't change your deal. I don't accept Islam. one woman. I don't want. We, listen, we, listen. Islam we have to write Islam this in a contract. Islam. Listen, if Zakir Naik he won the debate, I want to get four Muslim women in my bed immediately. Do we agree? But look, if only like look, I don't know about that. Like you don't Allah know. I know what I want, my friend. I know what I'm fasting for a long time, man. Not only thirty days. I mean, I'm fasting for years and years. So if Zakir Naik he won the debate. And actually, this is what make me Good lose. You know, you know what? No, that make me lose in purpose to get the women. <laughs> so, do you, can you, can you ask Zach and I, why you don't debate this guy? Okay, you know what? What about you? Get me a Skype of Zach and I. Just get me his Skype. I will call. Uh, uh, okay, I, I will try to fix it. But anyways, right now, I will try to, to, to destroy you because you don't know nothing about the Quran. You just told me I never been. You just told me I never been defeated. And you are saying to me, I know yes, nothing about the Quran. Because, because this debate is not, is not over right now. Like, uh, it's not what I will not. This debate is not over right now. It's like, not will, over. I send you home. No, That's I will send you home. We haven't gone to the Bible yet. Oh, you want to go to the Bible? The Bible of Allah? Yes. Do you have a Bible of Allah? Yes, there it was like, look, Abraham was a Muslim, Moses was a Muslim, Jesus was a Muslim. But you guys, but you guys want to make your own reality. Okay, I want to ask you. What is the name of the God of Abraham in the Bible? It was Allah. Where? Can you show me the verse that says Allah? Oh, with my Imam. Oh, your Imam is a donkey, like the rest what of Muslims. You All of you are. Okay, hold on. You, you know the word donkey? Uh, yes, Sheikh Mar. Mar. Okay, so I want to ask you uh, have you ever seen somebody in the mosque? He, like by mistake, he raised his head before the Imam finished the prayer? So, okay, that's good. Is it true that if you raise your head before the Imam finish, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey? Yes, but look, you don't understand. Like that verse was just like any yeah, as a joke. Like, you know, your what? Like, your joke? Your prophet, he is making a threat that if you leave your head up yes, before. Yes, it, it, so, listen, April, listen, April, listen. April, okay, listen, listen. April, listen. April, what do you know everything? What are you talking about? Listen. So now you are praying to Allah. I mean, you are a decent Muslim. And, you know, you raise your head before the Imam. You don't even see the Imam because your head is down. How you will see him if he is up yet or not? You know, uh, the one is in front of you. His ass is up. So how you will see? And there's a long crowd. And especially if you are short. So why if you leave your head up, you are going to be punished by Allah and Allah will make your head a head of a donkey. Give me the reason. Because, because look, this is a joke. Like how you don't understand what a joke is. So your like, prophet making fun of Allah and the religion. No, Allah, he made a joke in the Quran. Like, you know, you don't want to be sitting all day just reading. It become boring. You're like, ah, oh, like, ha, ha, ha. Or like, you know, yani, a little bit entertainment. Yani. Ah, so the prophet here making entertainment. He is not being serious. Uh, look at this guy. He raised his head before the imam. And subhanallah, look. His face is start to become a face of a donkey. Why well, you are making fun of your prophet? Your prophet, he did not say this is a joke. He said, the one who raised his head before the Imam, Allah will make his head a head of a donkey. Huh? Was prank. Was what? Was prank. Brank, brank? Yes. Ah, candy camera. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> So, what is so funny? 
You are making fun of your prophet. Where he said it's a prank. I mean, this guy is speaking serious. This is why you Muslim, you are writing it. Where it says this, where, where you get this from, that this was a joke? My mom told me. You keep saying to me, my mom, numbers. okay, get, let your mom speak to me. Bring, bring her. No, not, I didn't, I didn't say mom, I said imam. Imam, imam, oh, okay. You call your imam right now, wake him up, I will but make his head. Baby, he is sleeping. Okay, he, he don't worry, I want to see no, his head, no, if his I head is a head of a donkey or not. <laughs> You know what? Oh, I was wondering until I saw this hadith, why every Muslim has said look weird? I don't know. I mean, I was suspicious. But then I said to myself, you know what? The prophet must be true prophet. Because how in the world he predict that the Muslim, they have a head of a donkey? I mean, you tell me. Look, no, like listen, listen. It, like, it's just a joke. Like, where, yeah, why you are, why are you are saying it's a joke? Why are you saying this is sahih? And this is not, he's not laughing. Do you, even in the Bible, do you see, do you see anyone? He said, even, even, even in the Bible, there was a joke. There's a joke. When, okay. Allah. Yeah, there's when, a joke. When, Muhammad when, when, is in listen. the Bible. There's a joke. Yeah, Muhammad in the Bible. Listen, this is the joke. Oh, listen. So listen. <laughs> no, but listen, listen. No, listen, 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 listen. You know, you know where when when Moses he was before God and and he uh sorry when uh, Moses was in front of Allah and and the and uh, in the bushfire. Yani. Hold on. You, you, did you say uh, Moses was in the front of Allah? Yes, like yani, the bush. Do Allah have a front? You know what I mean, man. You know what I mean. I mean, I do not know what they mean. I'm trying to understand. Do okay, Allah whatever, is okay, Allah? Whatever. Do Allah That's have a front and back, or he's round? I don't know, but that is not the. That is not you the, just said to me the front of Allah. Okay, listen. So you don't say things you don't mean. Listen. But this same is, time. This is not the point. Same, same like, time. You, same you time. Say, okay. Same, you say all the time. Same, you same time. You, you Muslims, you stole the story about Moses from the Bible, but the story in the Quran is funny. Is it true that Allah is the tree in the Quran? Is it true that the Allah is the tree in the Quran? He is the tree. Know, what do you mean he is? I you know. Is, I think so. You think so? So how how Allah is a shin and now Allah is a tree? Yeah, the shapeshifter. Sh what uh, shape shifting? He's Allah. He can do what he wants. Can he shift to be Lily Dawa? If you want, yes. Ah, you know what? I was wondering where I saw Zakir Naik before. Now I know. He was he, he was he was a shifted God or uh, look of Allah, you know. I was wondering like I mean this guy he looks so good, and he took him like twenty years to grow his beard fertilizer after fertilizer. So listen, uh, I want you to give me one proof before you go that the Quran is from a God. His name is Allah. You know what the proof is? Yeah. All of the miracle that all the previous prophet made. This is the proof. Okay, this is a talk is cheap. I can say all oh, the miracle done by me. I am the one who gave him the power. You can say that do, too. Do you, have, do you have proof of the miracle? No, no. You have, this like is the talk, example, talk is a cheap. Example, talk, talk, talk is a cheap. He, he takes some mud and he, he blew into it and then became a, a bird. You're amazing. Can Allah do that too? If he wants to, yes. Well, there's no witnesses. You said to me before, there's witnesses. Yes, so in, the, in heaven. But there, like, what, yeah, there's ah, there's no heaven. heaven. No, Jesus, he did miracle in front of people. Allah never did anything. So listen to me. Yes, say, I, say, I have a miracle for you. Muhammad. I have a miracle for you from the Quran. According to your school, when you learn in the school, did they teach you about uh, hail? What hell? Hail is, do you speak Arabic? Do you know Arabic? No, I only know a couple of words. Okay, uh, hail uh, is the ice, the ice which is coming like uh, when it's not snow yet, but it's ice, like big ice, like balls come from the sky. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's finished, according, it's finished, it's hogla. okay, according to the school, where hail is coming from? Uh, it's it's uh, it came from the cloud. From the cloud. So, are you sure it's not coming from mountains in heaven? Yes, because they have done the, the scientific research for it. Yeah, and they found what? They found mountains in heaven? Like a, like any, the the water is in the cloud, but it be, it's so freezing temperature that it became ice. And then yeah, but this is not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, I heard somebody saying that hail is not coming from the cloud, and the scientists are a bunch of liars, and it's coming from mountains, flying mountains in the sky. What is the problem with that? So which one? You just told me the science. They say this, and you believe in it. Now you don't. You say no problem with that. Uh, what? What is the problem? But this is against what you just said. What? What do you mean? You said I asked you where hell is coming from. You said scientists. They say it's coming from the cloud. Yes. Okay, but the Quran says 
that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Allah, he break it pieces and he sent it down to earth. So yeah. how this is a book from God? But it was like any... Yani. Like it, the... What? Yani, Yani what? But look, it was 1,400 years ago. Yeah, but uh, is that an excuse to be stupid? Like, because you are... No, but like, but like what you guys don't understand is was different times. Like, so no, was for example, so are for you example, saying to me at that time like, for, are you, for example for example for example, for example so you are saying to me that uh, 1400 years ago hail used to come from different places i don't know i did, I did not live 1400 years ago i, I lived and I mean, was there my friend wait, i was wait, in the actually there, me myself were you with yeah, muhammad yeah i was even you know i was before muhammad. Allah, I, I spank muslim? muhammad you, I, will, I will tell you my real story i am al khadr you know al khadr Do you know Al Khadr? Hello? Hello? Do you know Al Khadr? Do you know Al Khadr? Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Do you know Al Khadr? What happened? Hello, hello. Oh, well. can you hear me? Okay, later, later, call me again. That's it. We are done with this guy. <laughs> I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back Turning the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. 